So next question. How can I design a clean iOS architecture for my iOS app? Well, it depends on your app, but mainly you need to decouple high-level policies or business rules from infrastructure details like networking, UI, databases, and the composition of the application as well. So you need to decouple those things into separate layers. So separating high-level policies from low-level details at a feature level and the application level as well as needed. You need to balance the trade-offs of the decoupling because you want low coupling and high cohesion. Right. So for example, organizing your project into layers, business logic layer, networking layer, UI layer, composition layer, and etc. Breaking down mm -hmm. the problem into small problems. So you can solve one challenge at a time. You can test things in isolation. You can change things in isolation. You can extend things in isolation. So you can add new behavior without affecting existing behavior, which makes your system more open-closed, open for extension and closed for modification, which means the UI will not hold business logic and the business logic will not hold UI logic. Right. Just like the UI will not depend on API or networking specific details and the networking layer will not depend on UI specific code or details. So you can change things in isolation, you can develop them in isolation, you can develop them in parallel, you can test them in isolation, you can extend them in isolation without affecting other layers, other modules. And then you can choose how to slice your features in your layers. Maybe horizontally or vertically, it depends on the problem at hand. But a clean architecture will allow you to modify the slices of your application as needed. That's exactly correct. It's not how you're going to separate your application and what kind of modules you're going to have. It's more the plumbing between the modules, how they're going to communicate between them and how they will remain very consistent in their goal. For example, as you mentioned, you have a UI module and you don't want business rules inside the UI module. You don't want any services or service-related work like networking, persistence perhaps. It's exactly the same for the other way around. And why don't you want business logic in the UI layer? Because you don't want to risk changing a UI detail and breaking some business logic, some business rules. You also want to decouple it so you can change your user interface without having to rewrite the business rules. You can even compose different user interfaces with the same business logic. So you can reuse the business logic with different UIs. You can have a UIKit UI for iOS, NapKit UI for macOS, a WatchKit UI for the watch, and you are reusing the business logic so you know you have a concise place where the business logic lives. So every application will behave accordingly. Imagine if the business comes in and tells you that they're planning to do a reskin of the application. They say, we're not going to change anything in the back end, any business rules. We just want to have this new layout because we believe it's going to convert better. Yes. And the iOS team says, well, we're going to need six months to do so. Yes. That's problematic right there. Or a year or two years to do so. Or maybe they're going to say, we need to rewrite the entire application. Yes. So if this happens, you have a conflict of interest with the business. Because from the business side, they have a reasonable expectation that changing the user interface should be easy. Right. It should be just a matter of plugging in a new user interface with the same logic. Mm -hmm. So that's the expectation that businesses and customers have towards the application. And we as developers, we need to fulfill that expectation because it is possible. If you decouple your modules, you can plug in any user interface easily. Exactly. So a change such as changing the user interface or changing the API layer should not demand a rewrite. If it does, you don't have a good and clean architecture and it's going to cost everyone a lot of time and money.